Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to episode 9 of my team mode here in F123 here as Andretti Autosport. Finally got points at the Spanish Grand Prix and now off to the Canadian Grand Prix. Um, got a lot of time until we get there, though. So we're going to work on making Marcus a little bit better. Get some more resource points. Oh, can't double up on that. My bad. And F1 sim racing event. Uh... Get some extra acclaim. Actually, no, let's not do that. Um, just to make the morale of the department better. Don't care so much about our uh, acclaim and everything. Probably should, but I don't. Um, let's see here. Let's actually check out our engine components. Gonna have to s probably switch the new ICE very soon. It's rather soon to do that. We'll have to do that for the MGU-H. Just do that during the weekend ahead of qualifying. Got 1,400 points in the bank, but actually... Let's get a little bit more here. Durability equipment upgrade, marketing department event. Have you down as one of the favorites for this year's championship? Who? Idiots, that's who. Anyways, uh, new rival. Gonna make this Botas. I think McLaren's gonna get better through the season. With them. The department's Alpha Romeo might be stagnant a little. Let's, let's see there. Yeah, they're more in line with us performance-wise. Extra points. There we go. We have 1.98 in the bank. Can we... All right, let's increase that a little bit here. We'll hold off on any other upgrades for now. Okay, got 1,500 resource points in the bank. Let's see what we could use them towards. Chassis, we can't do anything there. Let's work on the ECU. That should hopefully be Ready after Austria. Plus, need to do some air upgrades, wheel rim covers. Actually, front downforce is going to help. Rear downforce, don't have enough there. So, we have to wait for more resource points. Keep advancing. Okay, we've had the new parts come through the fabrication. Got new reliability process. testing there. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. All right, off we go for the Canadian Grand Prix. Dry qualifying here again. And a bit of a cloudy start to the race, most likely, with uh, it clearing up. Um, Good thing we didn't pick uh, Piastri as a rival because that car, that McLaren, is rather rapid. Let's see if we can beat the Alfa Romeo here. All right, bit of a wonky start there, but off we go. Got the Williams behind us, so hopefully keep him at bay. Too much gas right there. curb right there. Not feeling good about this lap. So we get the toe off the show here. That should hopefully help. And you. All right, so a couple moments of wheel spin there, so I know where we can improve. Currently dead last by four tenths, rather surprising, but not really considering kind of botched that lap. Uh, rain might be coming. Maybe. No. 
chance looks pretty low. Uh, you know, we might want to go out early here, so let's do that. That's so weird. I thought it said it was raining out. Never mind then. Keeping the engine cool, keeping the tires cool, not burning through a lot of battery on the run up here. Don't have anyone behind. There we go. Turns off the wheel spinny here. Losing a lot of time. Try going for a second one, I don't think it's gonna do anything. So we're gonna run out of battery though. Well, so if we can improve it all, gotta take a chance here. So here goes the battery. Across the line. Okay, that'll help. Well, your top three is Leclerc, Perez, and Russell. Signs Hamilton, Verstappen, Alonso, Botas. Oh, that's a problem. Norris, Piastri, and, well, that's your top ten right there. Got jumped in the order a little bit. Marcus, P20, or P21. We only beat Hulkenberg. Going to have to figure something out here to uh, maybe get points. That's going to be a hard ask, though, but see what we could do. Oh, a couple grid penalties. Um, so we're going to start P17 here. Let's see. Um, Strategist is calling for a basic one-stopper. Um, yeah, let's stick with this. Take some fuel out. Off we go. 16 laps on the medium, 19 laps on the hard. Let's see what we can do. Now at F122, run down turn one was always a mess. Ooh, Botas had a grid penalty. I'll go around the right side or left side. I don't know my own directions now. That's yeah, three spots. Looks like everyone's on the medium tires here. Ooh. Botas looking on the right. Heavy car. Heavy car. Ooh, 
Someone came together behind us. Up oh, was a Marcus. Uh, battery. We got caught up by wall champions. Are still hitting each other, I think. Green flag. Ocon's out of session. He was behind us, so must have been scrapped pretty hard with someone. Right through there. Here, this is up. Let's see if we can stay in range with Gasly. Zokan's car. Kind right, of close to the pavement there. Where Botas was taking a look. Picked off a few laps here, and uh, I will really pull away from him. This car's in front is starting to pull away. This car just feels evil around here. I just think it's because I really like this track. It's one of my favorite circuits. But oh well. Got keep trying to play keep away at the moment. Good window coming up very soon. Be able to shake the breeze. Can't shake Gasly, or not Gasly. Otas. He's got tires being very evil right now. Some laps we could take a chunk out of Albon Gas's lead over us. Some laps we just give it back. Gasly's yeah, been real sensitive with the throttle right now. Okay, gaps in the car ahead is 3.9 seconds. Should be pitting about two amps though. I think everybody's going to be just about the same strategy, so... Oh, all champions get a little close. Gotta be careful there. Keep Botas behind us still. Oh, grass there. Almost took a metal line. No crew survived me for that. Okay, big wheel spin there. Just kept him behind. Let's see how bad these tires are. That's not bad. Thought to be in like the 50 percent by now, but we deal with that. Arrows coming in the pits there. The weird their uh, caution lights. In this lap, in this lap, push now. And 
gap to the car in front is 4.3 seconds. running medium tyres. Alright. Let's keep going with the uh, battery here. So here we go. Both tests coming in front. The clear just out of the pits there. Oh, blue. The crew there, mate. Just hung the clutch there. Got both tests ahead of us. Hello. I don't think it was going to release us right there. Well, hopefully, these new sets of hards work for us. We get back up there, especially while he's bringing them up the temperature. See what we cycle out. I don't think we're gonna get him. Well, Nico Holkenberg was holding down Botas there, so I believe Nico started on the hard tire. So he held up a rival. Looks like he just got around him though. Every little bit could help. Held up Gasly a little bit too. He's out of the pits, just ahead of Valtteri. There he goes in the pits. See if it blows up a little bit. Should be cycling on through to P15. Your teammate behind is 0.0, .0 seconds. So coming 10 to go here, it's kind of like give a little, take a little. Gap's been kind of stabilized between a second and a half. As yeah, so. took the metal line there. Okay, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. 2.0 seconds. Just playing keep away from DeVries, but Magnuson's on new medium tires. Could get around Nick. Get him up to us, so gotta be a little careful here. Oh, and Marcus retired. Okay, Marcus is out of the race. That's not good. Hoping whatever liability issue he had doesn't randomly strike us. Oh, 
propulsion. Okay, clear. Oh, getting closer to our buddy right here. Just outside the DRS range down the straightaways there. Should be able to stay within it. There we go, within range. Just need to down the back stretch here. There we go. Save a little down the front, though. Maybe get him in one. Putting out a second lap on the car behind. Really good stuff. Okay, save a little bit more battery here. Just putting on time on the cars behind as uh, Reed's actually doing a real good job of holding on to Magnuson. I think it was at Imola we had a pretty good dive of Botas. At good to go, might have to do the same thing. This is going to be a chance. Got the run. And 
take out the positioning. Okay, good work. Great pass. Chef Queen Track. Ooh, and double DRS. That'll help. Final lap. Final lap. Push, push. Gotta be careful of the wheel spin. I just have to use higher gears to get through the corners. Gotta save all our battery use for the front and the back straight or whatever straight. Those last two. George Russell, your winner. Okay, Mercedes on the board this season. With us looking right. Oh, we're going wide, though. Not today, you don't. Okay, oh, she's going to have the wing open. Yeah. Oh, keep him away. Another great lunge. P14. Well, podium there is Russell Perez Hamilton. Rest of the point scores. Signs Alonzo Norris. Verstappen with a poor result in seventh. Leclerc, Stroll, and Snowden gets points for Alpha Tauri. We get P14. Just barely beating Botas. Down by a second there. As uh, Marcus failed to finish the race. As well as Esteban Ocon. Standings now. Uh, Russell actually moved up to second. As Verstappen falls to fourth, 41 point lead for Sergio Perez. As we still say, your stay in B12 constructors. Mercedes closes it to 66. As Alpha Tauri now gets on the board, all teams have finally scored a point this season. Ooh, let's see. So, got a message here. Engine issue is super unfortunate. We should make sure to invest in chassis upgrades. Um, team's investigation is the root of the fault. Got us 400 extra points. That's great. Retirement announcement, Nico Hulkenberg going to be gone from Haas at the end of the season as his one-year return to F1. Going to be a short one and be just that, one year. So Austrian Grand Prix is up next. That's going to be a sprint race, uh, sprint race weekend, excuse me. Going to get uh, hopefully that turbo reliability upgrade on the car here. Got a lot of points in the bank, so we are going to uh, put a lot of investment into this car. See what else we could get going forward into the summer. But that's going to do it for this episode of my team here on F123. If you're brand new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you'll be notified when future episodes come out. And to everybody, thank you for watching.